In this tutorial, you'll learn how to build form select fields in Bootstrap 5. And then we also have this uh, select element with three options. So then we also have that other one, that select. And um, it's the same story with a select. We actually also want a floating label. So I will use the same here. Let's see. Pick a tour. And now we will just have uh, select one. Right, I'm just uh, adding another class called form select here, which will style this as a typical bootstrap select uh, element. So in a select, we have options. We have those three options. I will just quickly write them down. Okay, so these are the three options, and this is actually the, the, the form that we want, right? So now when you do that, we have an input and we have a select. So now it gets interesting because now we want to talk about the layout here. Because if we look here, they are actually sitting next to each other, right? So we can actually use the, the grid system in Bootstrap to work with this. Also because we want to have uh, a different layout depending on the breakpoint, depending on some breakpoints, right? So you can see here on smaller devices, we actually do want a stacked um, layout. And then on wider devices, we want to have a horizontal layout. So how can we do this? Well, here we can use the grid system. So the grid system, what it comes down to is you create a new element with a class of row. In the row, you basically get 12 units to allocate, right? So the entire row is gonna be 12 units wide and you can determine how many columns there should be and how many how many of those units they should take up. So here we're gonna have, we, we basically wanna have two columns. So we can say dot call dash six, right? So the first column is gonna take up six of those units. And the other column is also gonna take up six of those units, right? It needs to be in the row. Right, and then we can put this first um, div in here. Right, it will automatically, this will automatically take up the width that this one gets. Same goes for this one. Right, so now we have a row. In the row, you get 12 units, and we're basically giving, we're, we're allocating that uh, equally to two columns. Right, so now you can see we have, well, a row and we have two columns, right? The elements in the columns will automatically take up the entire width. Now we have some default space between them. I think this is a bit much. So you can also go to row here and you can give it a gutter or gap, or you can define how much that should be. You get a couple of options here. We want number two, and that may, makes it a little bit less. So this looks pretty cool, but now the thing is, it's gonna be like this on all viewports, right? So what we actually want is this horizontal layout only on wider viewport, right? So maybe only when it has crossed a certain breakpoint. So here we could say only when it has, you know, when it has crossed this, maybe the small breakpoint and bigger, do we want to have this um, horizontal layout? So what you can do is you can go to these columns and you can say it should take up six units when it, when it reaches the, the small breakpoint. Right? And when you do that, the default is, by the way, stacked. Yeah, so this is working now. You can see that it's stacked. And then when it crosses the uh, small breakpoint, it gets six units each. And we get that horizontal layout. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch. So you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.